In this video, Matt has fun with a water gun, Sean shows off his golf skills, and Greg gets kicked out of a hotel room when we visit another awful Britannia hotel. Since we have started the worst rated series, we've been to some terrible places and have been treated to some extremely unique hotels. When we found out the Britannia hotel chain was the worst rated hotel chain in the UK for over nine consecutive years, we thought it would be fun to attend as many of these hotels as possible. We started off in Wales at the Grand Hotel and that hotel was far from grand. We experienced odd smells, Asian building that was in desperate need of some TLC and one of the worst night's sleeps we have ever endured. So naturally we thought it would be fun to see if all Britannia hotels were like this. I found the Tree Khan Hotel in Torquay that showed classic Britannia vibes such as odd smells, random stains and misery. Unfortunately, I am unable to join the guys on trip to Torquay. Shame. However, the show must go on, so I booked two rooms to the Tree Khan Hotel for the guys to enjoy. Have fun. We are on the way to Torquay. We're Paul through, it, through the forest at the moment. Paul has uh, given us another trip. So hopefully he won't make it have any bad things set up for us. I'm gonna ask the hotel crew. Hello. Yeah, Hello. apparently apparently this is also the worst restaurant in Torquay. The reason that people in Britain will get annoyed about a breakfast at a hotel is if they don't do, you know, like a traditional breakfast, you know, your bacon, your sausage, your yeah. egg. You know, if it's like oh, a croissant or cereal, they're like, what is this? Continental, yeah. Yeah, they can't understand it. British Lazy. people just, a lazy breakfast. So this is another Britannia hotel, uh, the worst rated hotel chain in the whole of the UK. And obviously our plan is to try and do all of them. I think there's a 61 or 62 of them. So um, yeah, this is another one on our, our list. We haven't done the one in our hometown yet, so yeah, we'll get there eventually. We're in traffic. We've got another like two and a half, three hours to go. And if there's a lot of traffic, it's like we're ready. So Matt has the bladder of a newborn baby, so we've had to make our first stop already. Uh, we're about an hour in. Hello. Hi. Who's guffed? It's the it's the jerky. Mm, mm, mm. That smells like someone's bum hole. Yeah, Greg's on the jerky. What flavour jerky? You got? Beef jerky. What flavour jerky you got? Bum hole. Oh, this is original. <laughs> bum hole jerky. <laughs> Apparently, Here we go. your lips and your bum hole are made of the same material. Material? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Uh oh. What are you doing? It's got what you I hate everything. <laughs> Just testing. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> It's so good. I think Sean's a little bit annoyed that Paul isn't here, so he can drive us about like usual. But yeah. Sean first sitting in the back of his plate and making like it's not even that fancy food. That was like, fun. I hate driving during oh, the day. Always bring a plate. Yeah. I'm stuck behind another lorry. There has been a common theme recently. Every time we go to a bad hotel, the weather gets worse, and now we're entering. Oh my goodness. Silent Hill. This is some. I love this. Okay, guys. Uh, Paul told me not to tell you. Until we got to about this distance. We're going to Silent Hill. We're actually going into an old style <laughs> horror reality. <laughs> <laughs> I've crashed the car, we're going to the light. Wait, yeah, are we, we dead? Just nah. see the craziest thing ever. Yeah, man. Doesn't hurt. I saw the pain in your face then for a millisecond, it was amazing. So we are about to pull up to this hotel. It is in the middle of nowhere. Paul was not lying. No wonder, maybe that's one of the reasons why it's got such a bad uh, score because it just no is. No one can find yeah, it. No one can find it. We're what? Was it a thousand yards away? So apparently they have four, no, six to four car parking spaces. We don't know which one is the right one. And uh, we're about to find out if we have a space. It's quarter past seven at night. Fingers crossed that they aren't, you know, filled up for the evening. We got a pub there. Bygones. Uh, oh yeah, it's 100% shut. It's not even a pub, is it? It's not a pub. 
It just looks like a pub. It's a, it's a World War. It's a World War One trench experience. My bad. Yes, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I World thought War that was a pub. Experience. It looks like a pub from the outside. Oh, it's that you can tell by a mile off. It looks horrendous. Is it that one? Yeah. It's got to be. It, yeah. The the windows have looked horrible there. There it is. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Tree Khan yeah. Hotel. Yeah. This is it. We, there we are, boys. Sorry, didn't want to get another video. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be so fun. One of the reviews said that um, people rented a hotel, like rented a, like, an apartment that was like off the side of it. So I don't know if this what this is, what these bins are and stuff, but, and like all that. I don't know. Bath. Oh, can I ask a question? Yes. There isn't like an extra 5 a.m. wake up call or. No, 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 no. no. We, 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 someone else has booked this for us, and, uh, and last he, time he did it, he, he, he made us have a 5 a.m. wake up. No, there's, no, there's no like uh, tricks or anything, is there? Okay, I'm just checking. Just checking. Right, guys, sorry. Right. Okay, so we've, we've got our keys. A uh, bit of a mix up with paying. You had to pay for our rooms, but they don't take contactless. So we had to sort out who had a card on them and stuff. Me and Sean, uh, room 11. Where, where are you? We have room 22. Um, this this place is actually really busy. It's insane. Oh, the, the, the amount of hotels, like the amount of hotels we've been to recently, and there's been no one around but us. It might make actually filming in, at night time a little bit harder. You bring the amount of people, but yeah. um, so a lot of people out drink, out the front drinking. A lot of people in the cat like the cafeteria having having food. I have no idea where they're getting this food from because if you look there, there's there's no food being served. It smells like swimming pool. It does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Most likely, oh baby, it's actually pretty nice. It's all about the light one. Sanitized, confirmed. The TV's small, but you've got two two single beds here for me and Sean. But this actually it smells really bad. <laughs> it smells a bit damp. We've got, a nice, we've got a nice hole in our in our sofa. We've got a balcony that goes so open just oh in case God, anyone would come in. Maybe we have a bin. We've been there. It's cool. <laughs> it, it fits. You know? The bin head. Oh, you got a balcony, have you? Oh, what? Oh, God, it made. Oh. It's in my head. That's where the car parking spaces are, then. Is it? Yeah, but it says the, the Treacan Hotel, right through there. Who's coming on a coach trip? Are we on that like weird Channel 4 TV show where like all the, right, the is... oldies come out on their coach trip? Yeah, no wonder the parking's gone. There's three coaches sat in there. So this is the this is the parking for three to six. Uh, it's four, four to six cars, but it's full of coaches. Hello, boy. Get out of our room, boy. Oh, it smells disgusting in here. I'm too tall for that door. Have you just had a shit in our? No, but it does not like someone. I've you not. You better not have. I haven't. I'm waiting for my room. Right, let's go to yours then. Let's go have a look at your, yours. Uh, and then I, we'll get our stuff. Just have a look at your door lock. <laughs> door lock? Oh god, there is not a door. There is a door lock. <laughs> you can lock it. But I don't know if I want to. Oh, that's fine. Lovely. I don't know if I want to lock this door. Look, the whole thing, the whole minute mechanism is like come out of the door. Yeah. It's fine then. It's it, it's just a bit of a maze. Where have they gone? It's not often I get somewhere and I can see. It's like this. It's like we have, we can't afford the Mona Lisa. We'll have this this instead. And who's this? Oh my god! Who's that chunky boy? It's me. Love the pies. It's like oh, how much how much abstract art can we have in in one hotel? What number are they? Twenty two. Are they twenty two? Yeah. Twenty two. Yeah. Uh, 21, my bad. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> it's squeezed in a bit, isn't it? Oh, God, yours is well squeezed in. But it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell bad. And. Da, 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 Are we on the same balcony? Are we on the same we floor? Oh, wow, no, you're a floor above. I mean, you've got like seating outside. That's not too bad, you know? That's pretty cool. Yes. Oh, we can meet round there. There you go, we're just round that corner. 
apart from the place looking horrendous, uh, this having a balcony is quite nice. Well, you kind of share it with your neighbour. It's not really like. I, I already prefer Lonsdale. I broke my mask. Oh, you, you pooped it. It's, oh, this feels. You know, this feels very um, swimming pool. You know, you like you go to swim like a communal swimming pool, and you come back and it's like, hey, have the shower, have your. Do you know what it smells like? Death. The wet dog. Yeah. Like someone's trying to hide the dog in it. Mm. <laughs> Am I the only one that's bothered by the smell? I'd probably be annoyed when we're actually in our room. Yeah. Yeah, your room I'm, smells worse. Way worse. I'm pretty much a diva though, aren't I? Sm this smell... Yeah, we sniffed... I just got dust in my eye from this. They, just, they don't smell great. <sighs> Do you want to smell, Sean? Yeah, because I, I love life as it is. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be That's rubbing. been in a loft for like five years. I'm gonna be rubbing my body with that later, man. How do you feel about that? That's fine. <laughs> oh, oh my come god. Come on, dude. That's, oh, that's just not cool, man. I'll tell you what, Harry. It smells like the room smells a lot fresher now. <laughs> it's just not cool, dude. Like, go to find your own room. We're in the toilet, we're outdoors. <laughs> you want me to fight Nan? We're right next to my bed. <laughs> Why have you got a foot inside? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, can I do this? Beat you all you up. <laughs> your TV's even smaller than ours. You going to open your drawers? <laughs> oh, that's uh. <laughs> it's just so. Oh my god, this place is. That's not going back in, is it? You didn't do it. Just take it to reception so you found this. It's literally broken. Hair dryer. You do have a hair dryer, Matt. That is the worst hair dryer. <laughs> hey, at least they offer one. I apologize for asking Matt to look for the, through the drawers now. That's <laughs> cool, it. <laughs> Has anyone checked that Uber runs here? Look at this corridor, for example. Like, why is it like such a weird. Weird angle. Wonky, yeah. Let's yeah. make good exploring later. Oh, it's this. It's this way. Oh, okay. There's a lock on it, unfortunately. Uh, just everything. Uh, <laughs> is that open? Oh, it is. Is everything open? There's nothing locked. <laughs> We're not looking. Yeah. That was open. Okay, we'll look in that later. We'll go in there later. I'm going in there later. That's a private. You mother. <laughs> you absolute. <laughs> absolute C word. <laughs> Hello, boys. Just got changed. Plan to go out, do some mini golf, hopefully. Don't know if they have Uber here, they say downside. I need to get the address off map just to find out. Uh, but let's check the TV out over here. Got my, my uh, remote control and a condom. Uh, this is our lovely TV. Which isn't on. Turning on. Three, we have we have TV channels. But at the top, with three out yes, three I'm not gonna see it from my bed. It's gonna be so far away, but bit of a rally. Yowie. Rally. Turn off. Okay, I can't turn it back off. The remote's already died a death. I guess the only way to turn it off is uh. uh Look at that. It's off. Oh god, that's horrendous. I don't know if Britannia Hotels have this thing of where they are more popular with the elder gen like elderly, you know, generation. Because when we went to Clan Dudno, Land Dudno, the Welsh place, um, don't speak Welsh, as you can tell. Um, we had that vibe of a lot of elderly, and we've come here and it's it's rammed full of people older than us. Obviously, you know, we're in our 30s now, but I'm talking, you know, probably 50 plus. It, our room is mediocre. I haven't seen anything bad thus far, apart from maybe the draw. Uh, the smell of the towels is rank us. How's your uh, coffee, Greg? Uh, I broke my mask, but the kind young man at the desk gave me a replacement. I will say so far, the staff's been very nice. 
The I will say that the clientele is just like the clientele of the one in Clan Dudno. Um, what did you say? People. Okay. Oh, the people who are here. Yeah, it's just a lot of like I don't know if they're locals, hmm. whether they live around the corner or whether. Yeah, around the front there's like. Or whether they're guests. Yeah. But they've got that sort of accent that makes you think they're from around here. Who's that a boy? Anyway, no, so, boy. Yeah, the staff's been nice so far. I can't. No complaints. Staff's good. To be fair, the smell of Harry and Sean's room is just vile. Absolutely <laughs> vile. It is. Especially in comparison. Grotesque. Yeah. It is. He says it smells like a grand's. It doesn't smell like a grand's. It smells like uh, like your grand's flat, but she died a year ago and she's been left there rotting and everything's just like... <laughs> it's not that yeah, bad. And things have been like, all of, like the water's been seeping in and like she left a tap on but like, before she collapsed and it's just... <laughs> it's, it's just moist. Like, that really... Moi moist dead grand smell. Yeah, yeah I get you. Yeah. Do you not hear really. me? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, to be fair, this says coaches only. There you go, there's me, there's me moaning about the coaches. It does say actually coaches only, so I apologise. Uh, Tree, Tree Khan Hotel. Yeah, it is actually for coaches. We're on a very big rush at the moment, aren't we? <laughs> well, yeah, because we've got you up till 10 to this place. So, yeah. and, and that's if they have spaces. We could drive there. But now we ain't got any spaces tonight, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if this place is this busy, Torquay could be busy. Where are we, Harry? Where are we, Sean? Paintin! <laughs> no, I've spoken so much in there, someone had to start talking. What, I've, I've been doing my own little bits as well, don't worry. I've been speaking so much. We're out of the hotel, so I'm happy. Yes. We're good. Yeah. We're we can smell fun. the nice fresh air that isn't, well, your room smells a lot worse than ours. The Perfect. You're right. <laughs> yes, thank you for paying. What's it like to be able to smell something that isn't the hotel? It's nice, it's actually. Uh, I'm glad I've got my on, I will say that. <laughs> it's like recording. Sean missed the first two because he didn't press record. No, I swear Matt <laughs> gave it to me and it was recording. What? He missed, you it. missed it. <laughs> it wasn't recording. Oh. He said he's never played before. You can tell. He also doesn't care. Why? Come on. Put some beat back into it. <laughs> that was free. No, he's still going. Four, four. <laughs> it was so much easier on Monkey Ball. That's five. I'll get it back. This I'll is the back. first hole. Get this back. Get this back. Hold on, hold on. Use both hands. <laughs> That's six. Just down here, mate. We start again. Eleven. So what's the par is this? This is a par three. Par three. Oh, easy. That's that. He's got a two. Watch this big flip. Oh, he's gone, he's gone the other side. Oh. Three. <laughs> we could be all night, lads. How many holes are there? 18, I think. <laughs> there is. Uh, four. <laughs> Try and teabag it. No! Oh! No! Leave the teabag technique gonna work. How many is it now? That's uh, six. <laughs> It could be seven, but he's so far behind. Seven. Yay! Uh, nice one. You know, I used to play golf with my dad, so I think he was always disappointed by how bad I was. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Don't worry. Oh, he's going to try to give him just more again. See ah, he done the. Go on, Graves. How much was that? Six? six. Yeah, six. six. It's terrible, man. One, hold him one. Oh! <laughs> so, so close, so dude. Close. Four. It's getting up and over without too much power. Yeah, that's fine. Just don't think about it. That's good uh, shot. Uh, yeah, fair uh, enough. Shot. Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> I just stopped. It's just stopped on that right. That's so good. <laughs> Are you you <laughs> kidding me? Good. You played yourself, man. <laughs> Five. Oh! oh yes! Write in the comments who's two, gonna two, win right two, now, right now! Two two four two. That's literally what we've done, exactly the same every single go. Has he been has he been like practicing golf in a spare time? Nah man. If you didn't go down the old mini golf courses. Five. Trust me, I was counting. Five. Alright, you can't miss this one. 
I can't miss this one. No, it's not going to be 16. Five. 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 I wonder where Matt's been training secretly. Where's Matt see if you train? He doesn't do mini golf. Is it because he had me drinking? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, amazing. Got it in. Go on. Get in the hole. <laughs> he did it. He only, he's only gone and done it. <laughs> Celebrate your hole. All in one, boy. I'm in so much pain. One leg for his ankles, please. My ankles are so bad. You get it outside of the blue circle, it's a three. If you get it inside the blue circle, it's a two. If you get it in the middle pot, it's a hole in one. It's a hole in one. It's a three. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Why? I just hate you. Alright, let's get a free. Yeah. What? It never went round. Stuck at the top. Is it stuck at the top? Yeah. That's that's a hole in one. Right, it's stuck. It actually is. That's that's more impressive. That's, that counts as a hole in one. Uh, next, next so that time, counts yeah. as you missing the hole. No, because look. You Did you get it in the hole? No. So what would it count as a hole in one? Well, that's because this is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> free game. We won a free game. Par is 45. Um, in last place with 74 is Sean. Yee boy! And he doubled it. In third place is Greg with 63. Oh, that's pretty shit, but okay. In, in second with 59 is me. And the winner in 52 is Matt. Cheers, Pikachu. Because I, I always listen to my idols, and this is Peach is my idol. I'm looking at Greg, and it looks like maybe he, he's, he's ready to film like an indie music video. Coming out this July. <laughs> Gregory and the Waves. What are we doing now, Sean? We're getting alcohol, because of course these guys can't have one trip without any alcohol. Oh. <laughs> it's not me. Yeah, all right. No, look the air. Yeah, all right. I need some spirits because of my ankle. <laughs> I do, though. <laughs> it's so painful. Why does that exist? Put my money in the pocket. I get the hot sauce from the back. You know, I never really used to eat a lot of stuff like this, but ever since I was, oh wait, yeah, this is where's my challenge. No one's watched our, vi our personal videos, but I tried to quit a meet. I was trying to do a pool and I just couldn't do it. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Quitting alcohol is easier. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Fair play to pool, man, fair play. Fair play. Is that going to be going off all night? That thing right outside our room? No, no, no. The cock. Probably. <laughs> it's very Resident Evil around here. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It was Silent Hill on the way here, and that was Resident, Resident Evil here. Yeah. <laughs> I put my phone in on one of the plug sockets, and it just wouldn't work. I put it in the other one, now it works. So, one of my plug sockets is dead. Good. Not that I'm a diva, but I'm not using their shitty toilet roll, so if anyone wants some. There is a... <laughs> there is... <laughs> cups in there. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this. I don't know if you can see it either. So yeah, there's this, there's this like brick, brick wall here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and inside, I have no idea what it is, but it makes this like crazy humming sound. And obviously it's right outside our door. But yeah. We're gonna, we're about to go, about to go for a tour of the hotel. <laughs> okay, so this is our room. We have a ironing board for some weird reason. If you're ironing anything, anything more than a shirt, then you're, you're mental. Um, Again, they give you a million drawers in these hotel rooms and they put nothing in them. 
No, I don't want to stop. Fucking... No, it gets created for 14 seconds if you put it in the morning. It's pointless. Why not? Why don't you iron your stuff? I just said so. Why? Why? Oh, I don't understand why the hotels do this. They give you a million drawers. Who's who's staying in long enough to like empty their stuff into the drawers? We dro when we drove past, yeah, I was looking at all these hotels and I'm like, oh, this one's got a spa and this one's got a swimming pool and all these nice ones. And I was oh, like, God, yeah, you yeah. Do my <laughs> oh my gosh, I think if I've done that. Oh, okay, I'm going to drink, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> we were driving down here and I was like, oh, quite excited for like, oh, these spa, like swimming pool, oh, these ones look nice. Cool. And then you come in, it's just decrepit and stinks. Why are these hotels here? There's so many hotels around here. There's so and many. And it's so far away yeah. from the city centre or yeah. the town centre, wherever it is. Why are these hotels here? What are they, what are they for? Why? What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Dude, the iron just fell on me. Not the pin. Which one? Not enough of your child, I think. Well, don't go hide in there then. <laughs> We're just trying to <laughs> trying to help you. All right, I've got a black light. Um, we're gonna have a quick look in here, seeing it's, it's uh, night time, it's midnight. So we're gonna have a quick look through here. Look at that down there. What is it? No oh, idea. Not a fish. Bro, pee. Shit. Oh god, oh god, it's all the toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, the sink! So, what are your opinions on the the situation? Cleanliness, it's alright, it's not around. They tell it the bathroom hasn't been sorted at all, though. This is the same we have to deal with outside. So me and Harry are splitting up from the other two, the the lamos, the the newer nah, man. members. Nah, We're the OGs, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> if you touch my staff while I'm gone, don't you, dude, you guys don't see what I see. Look how oh, big this guy you. is. He's huge. <laughs> he's he's intimidating me with his size. That's not cool, man. I will end you. I will I mean, Batista bomb you through that horrible. Desk or whatever it is. You didn't, you didn't live in my house as a kid. Matt used to Batista bomb me for everything, so I'm fine. I could handle it. Okay, Go Tombstone ahead. pile driver. No, I nearly put my neck on one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you left me with this. I hate my brother. <laughs> Locked and everything. Huh? The mess out of your room. What is down there? There's two locks on this door. So they've left us alone again. They've left us alone. Uh, we need to set up the studio. How are we going to do this? We need to. I guess this will be our studio. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's. Yeah, I'm going to turn this into like a news desk. So, that look all right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, Wait. there's so much. Wait, so there's rooms one to six that way, but then there's rooms 200 to one that way. <laughs> yeah, look, it escapes like the 240. Stairs. Can we get the lift then? Take you to the 201, which is up there. <laughs> yeah, lift take me then that many no, steps. No, take you up top. Oh, let's see steps. No, it's the two steps. There's the lift. Why is every door open? That's so creepy. No, no, lift, no lift machinery. Take one. This is Greg and Sean's Food Spectacular show. YouTube hasn't got enough cooking shows, so we're here to show them how it's done. 
First of all, strawberries. They're all good. Do you know what's better than strawberries? Macerated strawberries. So strawberries with an alcohol or vinegar or something acidic. We don't have any vinegar. We don't have any balsamic. We don't have any rum. But what we do have is some vodka. And um, you just take some strawberries. And you just... Do you want to chew them up a bit first? Maybe. Do I help? Then we can manage to drink our food. You take your strawberries, you take your vodka, and this is how you macerate, you just give it a good old stir. Just nothing complicated. That's all you got to do. We get one strawberry and vodka, one strawberry red wine. But I don't want to eat your drink all mushed up. I will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Move that a little closer. Um, if you don't like what you've just seen, uh, maybe flip to Nickelodeon. What's your favourite food? My favourite food is um, steak. Damn right it's steak. So what are we going to do? Oosh. Yeah, cheers. The idea is that the dry beef jerky soaks up the alcohol. Mm. So tear it in half and just, just kind of drop it in really. You shouldn't need much. But the alcohol will seep into the proteins, bringing out that lovely beefy flavour into whatever alcohol you're using. Lock them up. So we're going through the restaurant now. They've got a, they've got a, uh, yeah, that's like lips. It's quite a nice scenery. There are more rooms down there. There's, there's just so many rooms. It's insane. Oh, God. I know. It's so many. We are in the bar slash what stage area? What would you call it? The bar there. There's just, a stage there. Is there actually? Yeah. Oh, incredible, let's have a look. Stage for like music and stuff. Let's have a look. You've got your band on there. I'll be honest, I like this place. Oh man, that's, give it a good whiff. That's the beefiest thing I've smelled in a long time. Look, it's actually, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually turned the color of the beef red wine -y. I mean, let's see how it tastes. And that's just wine. <laughs> mm, that's beefy wine. Things. Sorry, Matt. The lift is out of order. Is it actually? Yeah. Take it easy, boy. I'll live. Take it easy. Let's go. Is that the wrong bit? We've just, we just been told off. Huh? We've just been told off. Is that the wrong bit? Yeah. So the, the cleaner just kicked off at us for exploring the rooms that we shouldn't be looking at, even though. We're not just really disturbing people, we are very, very quiet when we walk around these rooms. Again, the other thing is you want to see how clean this stuff is, but he just kicked off. Uh, Matt's correct talking to him. I said, am I not allowed to look around the hotel? He said, no, because people are sleeping. What if my room was down there and I have to walk past them? That's the first rude staff member we've come across so far. We've stayed in loads of hotels and I don't think anyone's ever been rude to us. Okay, so Matt, um, we've made some cooking. Okay, so basically we did a cooking show. Some sort of the beef jerky in the sink. We'll tell you in a second. Ah, uh, is the beef jerky? Oh, sorry, man. I didn't. I didn't realise it was accident. Right. So you know that as you guys went off, we filmed the debut of our first cooking show. Yeah. And last time. Yeah. No, no. It, trust me, this is good. So we made massive. Such a nasty man. How yeah. Would you day so such a. I'm gonna puke. It's like dipping like... beef and meat in a fondue. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's just beef white. <laughs> <laughs> Next! So we've made strawberry flavoured wine and strawberry flavoured vodka. Like... You drink one, I drink the other, and then we swap halfway through. You want the red wine? Yeah, go on then. Strawberry red wine, isn't it? It's actually alright. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, see? So we've got a successful cooking show. If you're ever bored in your hotel room, this is what you can do. So Greg's useless. This is why we can't film anything because of this mess. Oh wait, is it diners, drivers, and dives? No, I, I love out, drivers. It has to be out at ten a.m. I love Go drivers, on. dines, and dives. That smells meaty. <laughs> Great. Great guy. Great guy.
Great go. Great go. Great go. Great go, Greg. Then we're red wine, and then we're talking. Yeah. No, no, legit, you would make so many stains. <laughs> Great going, let's go. <laughs> so Greg keeps asking the same question over and over again, it's driving me insane. It's two o'clock in the morning, so I've just told him to leave my, leave my room. And he said, I'm not going to leave you because you're bigger than me. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do with this, mate. My bag's so soaked. Oh, that's disgusting, dude. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's best. What you got in your hands? Nothing. <laughs> you? <laughs> I got nothing. So we found the traffic cone, and Greg thought we'd be good idea to steal it. I wouldn't say steal. I'd say borrow. We're gonna give it back in maybe a few years or two. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we can't be using this footage. Come on, where did you get that from? So I've just woken up, Sean's just gone into the bathroom, what a horrible night. To be fair, we haven't had enough sleep, but only about five hours, because they kick out at 10, which, is that most hotels? Some hotels kick out at 11, some kick out at 12. That mattress is horrendous. The pillows, the, the pillow, you don't have more than one, is horrible, and the, the, um, duvet's like itchy. It was just such a miserable night. So did everyone sleep? Okay, I guess. I hate this place. Like, it was the worst night's sleep. The, uh, my mattress was horrendous. Yep. My pillow was horrendous and my, my uh, duvet was really itchy. Yeah, and the room was stupidly hot and just hit a pump all night. Harry was snoring. Um, I thought I was going to be in a better mood this morning. Obviously not. <laughs> so. That was your room. Okay. Literally, the only thing I have wrong with this hotel is that the towels don't smell right. <laughs> like you're washing yourself, and you, well, not washing yourself, you're drying yourself, yourself, and you're just like, nothing smells so wrong <laughs> with this. This just smells odd. Uh, all the coaches have like already left. Old people, the fact they get up so early and like are okay with that is is insane. But they really? literally have, they've literally got up, got on that coach well before ten o'clock, and, and they're gone. I, I have bottles of good wine or something to be okay. put on the fridge. Okay. If you go to one beach for two, three hours, if you are going to the beach, can I do this? Yeah. This is some of the outside of this, this hotel. All like boarded up windows. Oh. Oh yeah? Hey man, what, what just happened? Uh, I just puked <coughs> on the side of the road. The problem we've got now is that we're paying for parking. We, not, we might need money for this thing. Torquay doesn't use contactless. This is, they're in the Stone Age. Yeah, that's and true. we didn't bring any cash. Because, you know, we're not cavemen. Okay, so we're here because of Matt. We are at the Babagool. Babagool. Matt only the likes Baba, that because- The Bababooey Cliff Railway. Yeah, that's the only reason Matt took us here, isn't it? Baba boom. Yeah. So, to the seaside and back since 1926. Here's where they don't take contactless and we can't actually go on it. The view's incredible. Yeah, man, look at that the view. The view's amazing. Man. So, our return is £2.90. That's Apple not too contactless bad. preferred. Oh my god, no cash payments. This is what we like to see. Can we get a family ticket? Two adults and two children. You're the child. Look how miserable Matt is. That's pretty cool. Baba Booey. <laughs> Matt, you took us here. Why don't you tell yeah, us? You gotta be the you gotta be the tour guide. Okay, so uh, over a hundred thousand people use this rail line every year. I think it's not very. Oh, I missed it. Just leave it going free fall. That's the brakes failing. We literally would have gone on that. They just sent it. 
I don't think this is a good idea. Elon Musk going down that thing, hungover. <laughs> Let's go. Lovely, thank you. Do you want to come down to Of course. <sighs> you need to see it. No, keep the wrong way back. Yeah. You haven't got it when you come back. We send you back down to walk up. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> that is not happening. Amazing. <laughs> so you can have 40 people in there. Thank you. Maximum load is 3,000 kilograms. I think we've just over one out of that. <laughs> okay, so Matt's allowed to make fat jokes about you guys, but so, I can't. Yeah, well, but he is, well, he is a fat, so it's alright. Oh, okay. I, I see how it is. Oh, oh god! Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, no, that's pretty cool, but... That's pretty cool, though. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we just it's very really rocky, rocky, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're chunky, man. Come on, good. boys. Do you think that's Did they not? Did they not bring back? Of course they didn't. No. They were talking, you would expect. I enjoyed that. That was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty cool. As you, far as, far as the lift goes, am I getting old? And I'm enjoying trains. We're becoming one of them. Did you go get an ice cream? Matt's gone into the tap shop. There's always a tap shop and someone always falls for it. It's always Matt. He's the kind of guy that would go to like a European country and see all those souvenir shops. Yeah. They have like 700 of them, they're all exactly the same. He'd be in every single one. Yeah. Well, this one might be different. Right. I bought you a novelty liar and some fun snaps. Here you go. <laughs> Shoot it. <Let's> go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shocking one, Greggy! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny at all. It is a little bit funny. Uh... Oh wow, you're so hard. <laughs> Ooh, you're hard. Wait, what did you buy, Sean? Oh my god. A whole of fun snaps. For normally £16, you ought to have for 12 What, what a, a hero. And then we got Greg a little present. We want Influencer Greg! Influencer Greg! <laughs> well, I kind of said Influencer <laughs> 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 What a day! Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. The Tree Khan Hotel in Torquay had all those classic Britannia Hotel traits and did very little to disprove that the Britannia Hotels are in fact the worst hotel chain in the UK. The lowest price room is around £57 a night and you probably can agree we paid around £50 too much. Maybe we are being too critical. However, if you like rooms that smell like wet dogs, have questionable stains that make you feel like you're on an episode of CSI and towels that are so musky that you'll smell like your nan's attic after drying yourself, then the Tree Khan Hotel is for you. Even though this was a miserable evening for the guys, they will have memories that will last a lifetime, such as Sean being the next Tiger Woods, Harry being the next Kim Kardashian, and Greg being the newest member of Westman Challenge to be consistently mistreated for everyone's viewing pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>